Uh, here we have a falcon yeah. and a falconer. I'm hanging out with my friends who are stuntmen. They work as stuntmen in the movies here in Mongolia, and uh, they just finished a big project, so they're celebrating today. And uh, this falcon is uh, the bird of one of the stuntmen who does uh, an animal stunts as well as uh, horseback riding and fighting. So uh, it's a pretty amazing day here today. Great barbecue. Ah. <laughs> 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 So this bird, uh, they just caught it a month ago, and uh, they're already feeding it and training it to uh, hunt for them for the season. They said the general practice is to catch the bird, uh, use it for one hunting season, and then release it so that it can reproduce, and uh, the next season they need to catch a new bird. Uh, right now the... Uh, Maruka san is holding him. It's pretty amazing. You see, you know, in, in the Poland, such a falcon is very rare. Sokol. Yes, very rare. <coughs> so this is a Mongolian falcon. They caught it just a month ago and they trained it to uh, hunt for them. It's a bird of prey. And uh, they catch it, they use it for one season and they release it. And then the next year they catch a new falcon and train that for a few months. Use it for the hunting season again. So, uh, how old is this falcon? Three years. Three year old. Three years old. <laughs> no. He has to go to the bathroom apparently. <laughs> wow. Uh, so this is not a tourist uh, bird, this is a real wild uh, animal that they caught. Uh, they caught it with a trap the same way the Arabian uh, tradition is, is done. Where they use a pigeon as bait and then once the falcon catches the pigeon, uh, it springs a trap catching the bird uh, and then they bind it and feed it raw meat and train it uh, to hunt and recover uh, prey animals for the owner.